Okay, my name is Douglas Thompson. I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different here today. I picked this up uh, yesterday, actually, while I was at a Home Depot. I just thought I'd show it to you and show you what you know what we're dealing with here. Um, I paid 40 bucks for this, roughly. You know, like without tax and stuff, it was like 39.99. Came with this little um, case thing that you can put through your belt, and you could put some little rivety things through that. I don't know if you wanted to. I don't know. It has a little clippy here. One right here, and one right here. And, you know, you can carry it on your belt or whatever. Um, now, the reason why I like this is because uh, I was thinking about going camping, and I have I have an axe, actually. Um, and this one is super cool as well, but it's kind of cool in a different way. This one, uh, it's also S-Wing. It's a nitrocellulose finish on the, or those are leather rings on there, and... You know, uh, due to all the climate changes, I've, you know, I've, I've lived in a lot of different areas and stuff. Um, it's made this this finish crack, but it is still one piece all the way through. Um, and then they they just put this on here just for like to keep the leather in place here. Um, some nice leather work. It's probably just a stamp, but you can also put it through your belt. And it's a really nice blade, and it's got like a little face so you can hammer things and um and i like this blade a lot my dad got this for me as a birthday present i think i don't know, like years ago like when i was a little kid uh he let me have like a hundred dollars to spend in home depot and i picked this out because i love i've always loved knives and sharp things and um probably could use a good cleaning um but this is a really cool axe but i just wanted to show you this uh this other axe so here's what we're looking at it's marketed towards i guess the tactical market the tactical market um make sure and wear your safety goggles made in the usa but look at that like uh it's 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 all one piece of steel all throughout like the hammer and and then it has some claims of being the highest um shock absorption rate for like when you're whacking things uh but the blade is is really nice on it um it's i mean it's a little bit raw but i, I kind of like that let's see if you could don't get cut on this look at that oh yeah high tinsel strength steel i don't know and this thing i mean i don't really know what this is for besides i mean this thing's marketed as a tomahawk so i guess you're supposed to throw this or something i don't know but uh i mean it, it would if it would just annihilate whatever it was uh going after um it's pretty lightweight like i feel like i can move it around kind of looks like one of those ice picks you know like climbing up a mountain or whatever but i am very happy with this um and i'm confident in its build quality and this is going to definitely be something i carry with me every camping trip and then also this would make a really good uh house protection you know, like for someone that doesn't like firearms, you know, <laughs> I mean, as long as you don't impale yourself while you're like running up some stairs or something, um, it's long enough to where you, you have enough distance to where like you could, you could do some, um, damage without being, you know, too, too close to the, um, enemy. And it's, um, but it's short enough to where like, it doesn't feel like you have so much weight on the end of the, the handle that you can't swing it fast, you know. So it's horrible to think that, you know, you might, might come down to that. But um, anyway, I just wanted to show you this. I'm making a fucking video.